It's now time for us to take a look at our President Boris's visit to Imo State, a new chapter for the East. There's a question on the lips of so many persons. I still have these two gentlemen here with me in the studio and be sharing their mind and thought on that particular issue or this particular topic that is uh, laid before us. Last week, the president uh, uh, chose to take a step to go pay visit to the East because so many Nigerians have been saying that that region has been marginalized and uh, no federal presence and all that. And our beloved president, Muhammadu Buhari, uh, went to the east to commission some projects and of course reassured uh, the eastern and of course Nigerians at large that is still very much with them. He's the president of all and is going to do his best possible to quench insecurity. So, the visit. At least it should be something to... Now, for me, um, Wilson, yes. that visit is historical. Not even now when there's a lot of agitation in that region. And the governors at the point were almost overwhelmed by the IPOB yeah. agitation. Yeah. And for me, it is heartwarming that the president did not sit back and say, well, it's their problem, whatever they do with Inadi and Sabi. Okay? I said, let me go there. And it's going there is symbolic. I don't know what anybody would think about it, but to me, it's symbolic. It's symbolic. It's symbolic and very historical. In the face of the threats, security crisis, he went there. I'm sure he still had the military mind. Because for many other persons, not even now, that IPO is saying, look, we are going to stop. Nobody should go out. And when he got there from what I read, I was not there. The streets were actually deserted. The old place was jammed, was jammed when he was in the airport. But as he got to the street, it was deserted. So for me, I want to thank him for the courage to visit the, 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 the Eastern Nigeria. And also to, to listen to what was conversed by these people. Because if he had said, Shimba, come and go there, or ask the chief of staff, come and go there, what will you do? What will you do? So his going there makes a lot of statements. The second I want to mention is that you see, when you are creating problems, ask the question, who suffers it? Today, people are agitating. In the East, IPO is agitated. But what pains my heart is that those who are killed are not Northerners. They are not Westerners. They are simply their brothers. So when they are all gone, who will you now come and rule over? Because sometimes, when we allow emotion govern our judgments, sometimes we run into problems in the future. Mm. So for me, he's going there, he's symbolic. I want to thank him for going there. But I also want to tell him that whatever I heard this, them, them say to him, he should go back and do his introspection and address them. Because Nigeria is our own. Mm. The only country we have is Nigeria. There's no other one. Right. If this country collapsed today, we are all going to be in shock. I don't see any one human being, whether he lives here or he lives overseas, that will be happy that his country has collapsed. God forbid. So for me, every Nigerian should have the, the sense, of, sense of duty to talk about the Nigerian unity. Because what makes us strong is that we are a country. Okay. Countries, who today, countries today who are even divided are still in war. Have you not heard the story? Mm. South Sudan. They are still in trouble. Even though they divided, they are now south or whatever they call them, the other side. Mm. But they are still in trouble. The South Sudan and the Sudan. Yes, they are okay. still having problems. Problems. Okay. Problem. Now, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so let me anchor this. Yeah. So for me, we should not begin to, to, um, to amplify what divides us. Let us begin to celebrate what brings us together so that we can have a common place. Our trade capacity is because of our number. Mm. That's our trade capacity. Many countries want to come and trade Nigeria because of our number. So if we lose that number, where's our trade capacity? Good the question. North, the North needs the South. The South needs the North. A lot of people I watch, I watch on TV the other day, they were, were talking on radio. What happened? Some of them are in the North from the East. Some of them say, ah, this is where they are, they're not living anywhere here. Hmm. That they're not part of people who are complaining. You, you know what I'm saying? So, so there's already an asunder, an asunder. in the contemplation All to right. say we want to have our place. So, Buhari, let me thank him for going and also appeal to him that whatever he was told in that place, he should take it and work on it and
and give it some meaning. Some meaning. Okay. Uh, do you feel the same? Uh, I share some dissenting view. Yes. In the sense that the Easterners, since after the war, that hate by the North for them has remained. And one opting out to be on its own, to be independent, is not a crime. If you have a, 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 a young family, maybe you have seven children. Once they are above 18 years, they can decide to leave your home. Even before 18 years, the behavior of a parent uh, of a child can lead the uh, parents to send it to a boarding house instead of being a day student, to avoid seeing him. And uh, if the Easterners, in that light, sees that they are not well treated in the Federation, they have the option to pull out. That they have been uh, harassed, being a kid, because they want to govern themselves. I don't see it as a, a democratic uh, norm. If they want to go, let them go peacefully. And I believe if you, if they even go on their own, they will be more enterprising. I guess so. And anyway, they, uh, they, the unity of Nigeria is non negotiable. That so is, we should have that at the, at the no, back of our mouth. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that, no, 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 that yeah. is what you see. Hmm. But in fairness, are they well treated? I'm not from the East. How many Easterners are in government? But with the basic right now, the president, I mean, okay, don't sorry. think it's going to change the narrative. Co sorry, co sorry. Um, uh, how many... No, 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 hold on. I'll, 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 we have a uh, IPOB agitation. Mm. Which one is higher than the Boko Haram insurgency? Which one is uh, worse than uh, the uh, Fulani uh, headsman uh, uh, destruction of our farms in the south? Which one is of a greater magnitude in, in negative terms. If the same way the president yeah. is uh, uh, helping the uh, Northern uh, Hesmen, you can imagine, for example, uh, issues of land are vested on state. So the issue of uh, uh, asking uh, uh, for grazing zones, that the federal government wants grazing zones from the state without the permission of states under the Land Use uh, Act is uh, an aberration. So the Easterners, they have the, a right to agitate. The issue of uh, IPO and uh, Mazi, who is in, uh, under detention, how many people in the north from, but, uh, but from Boko Haram and uh, others but, that are under detention? Esquire, Rather, Esquire. they are being given amnesty. Esquire. Why Esquire. not let Esquire, let's focus, let's, focus, let's focus right now on the visit because uh, it's uh, the same visit. If, if you talk the, in uh, that about visit, right in to succession, we are that, not in support of that. I'm surprised that nobody mentioned the release of Nandi uh, Khan. No, can I mention that, this? Um, um, listen. Okay. If I have your indulgence. All right. Well, let no, me, let me not to worry. You just hold on to that thought. When we return from the break, okay. you share your own opinions and views. All right. But please, uh, the needs of Nigeria is non negotiable. We have to make that clear right now. I want to go on a break. When we return, we'll continue with this discussion. Do not go anywhere. TMI, every opinion counts. Thank you so much for staying tuned to this channel. If you just joined us, this is TMI, Sunday's edition. We're taking a look at the visit of our President Muhammad Buhari to Imo, a new chapter for the East. That seems to be the question on the lips of everyone because really he was there live and direct last week and has begun to raise reactions, some for, some against, but some just felt indifferent about uh, what transpired in Imo State. want to react to what Esquire said. You have the floor now. Yeah, um, Wilson, you see, I might be described as um, the old stock, but I think there's experience you must learn from age that you cannot buy no matter how you try to go to university the experiences of life are part of, so life is a school and we're all learning every day i'm going to school every day every day you're learning now let me tell you the truth 
is that today we are complaining. I am not, I'm not cut out for chauvinism. First is that there is nowhere in today's Nigeria that you don't have economic power in the hands of the Eastern Nigeria. Because it was going far. That's why I want to take you back. Now, the experience of the Civil War should be enough to guide our judgment. War do not have a friend. There's no champion in war. It's a pendulum that, that, that dangles. Anybody can go. How do you celebrate people pass on? In 1967, when that was started, I was in primary school. I must tell you this. And I know what it was for us to leave, for people to run out of their houses and go and live in the bush. It's, it's, not, it's not a funny story at all. When somebody said, these children should, should ask their, their four beers what it was to have a civil war. It, you know, it's, it's not something you sit down and contemplate. When a young man tells me, I don't care, I don't care, watch the young man when, when there's one gunshot around the community. He flies the fence. I don't care, but meanwhile, he flies the fence. Those of them who carry AK-47, when you see them arrested, they're on the ground. They are now looking like vegetable. Nobody, nobody, no matter how strong you are, you can pretend to be strong. But when war comes, you cannot explain what you are going to pass through. The trauma, apart from the physical torture, the trauma of war, is not anybody to celebrate. Now, the three tribes in Nigeria have a common characteristics. Let's not deceive ourselves. When they are in power, they do exactly the same thing to each other. When we were in Western Nigeria as, 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 as middle when we were in Western Nigeria, what, what was our take? Why did Western Nigeria ask that they, uh, they want to go agitate? Why were they asking for it? If you can't speak Yoruba in part of this, um, you are in trouble. Anybody was forced to speak Yoruba? If, if, if today the Igbo man is in charge, the same thing happens. How someone is in charge, the same thing happens. They have a common characteristic. Let us not deceive ourselves. We are the minority. We are the one who suffers the fate. Today, in our economy, who holds your economy? Let the Igbo man go on protest today, whether you see people buying your market. Even if they part to buy in the market, they are in charge. If you talk about rice, they are in charge. Just mention it in commerce. And you talk about, oh, yeah, nobody is. Now, I'll tell you this. Go to the north. The entire northern market is occupied by the Igbos. I'm not talking from the point of emotions now. I'm talking strictly on what is on ground. Go, go to Sabogari Kano. Go to Kaduna. Even go to uh, uh, Borno. Yet, the other day, some of them were talking on TV that this is their home or they have no other home to go to. This is their home. You watch it now. It was on TV. Some of them said they were born there, so they, are, they grew up there. That's what they know. Their business are thriving there. They are making money. So let us not allow these politicians to, to make us think what is not true. It is about themselves, how they, they want to govern the people. You see, you don't divide and rule and govern the people. Let's look for intellect, intellectuals to drive our process. Today, I started with that discussion today, when I said, if we are deciding who rules our country, there's somebody who is very savvy and clear-headed. We know them. All we do is that we are placated to believe that somebody is from my tribe, therefore it's our turn. So when it is his turn, what now happens? In the southern Nigeria here, you know what happened in southern Nigeria. Who gave our people amnesty in the Nigeria? Who gave them amnesty? Tell me. Yeah, who gave them? Yeah, is, is, is he mother from, uh, from, uh, from, 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 from Nanja Delta? Is he father from Nanja Delta? They are no. They are all from the north. Our children enjoy the benefit of amnesty. And a lot of them went overseas for intellectual training and capacity building in underground water wedding and several other things they, they were doing. You hear that was the president. Is it our brother? No. We have two people who have been president in this country in the recent past. OBG was one of them. Uh, Good luck is one of them. Tell me one of the programs that, 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 that hit the people, like that program hit the people. Tell me one of the programs that they bring that, that have that impact, like that one in Niger that I had. When that man left, what happened? Those boys were almost being owed allowances. They were not paying them. Let us, let us not play with this, this, this gallery. I'm, I'm here. My mother is from the south. My, my father is from the south. I lived here. I grew up here. I visited several other parts of this country. I've been in the north, I've been in the east, I've been in the west. All so right. I can tell you this. So my own take is this. Yes. Let us not play to the gallery like they are saying. Our job as people who are supposed to be analysts is to, is to ensure that we bring the facts to the table. Okay. The point I'm making is this. 
is that it is not the issue of uh, uh, the way we talk about it. It is purely a political coloration to sway our mind so that somebody can become. My only prayer is that when they become, they should please remember that they use us as cannon folders to drive their face to government so that they can give us the benefit of governance. Okay. Now, at the end of the day, what happens to, the, to, to our country? Now, one, I talk about the amnesty that was given to our people. Two, the NDDC program that was in Nigeria. You heard the story. You are, let's let's go to the visit, no, 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. No, 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 I'm, I'm giving response to what I, I said I'm going to respond so yes. that I give historical references yes. so that it can be very clear to everybody. Hmm. Now, all of these issues, it's not about the tribe. It's about the, the quality of the person. What is that person's capacity? What, what, what does this make? What does he want to deliver to the Nigerian people? Even in our villages, somebody wants to become counselor in a place. He goes and, and, and runs to the fact that our, our village have, have not become counselor before. Then it's our turn now. Let them give it to us. He'll go and whip up sentiment. Everybody say, oh, yes, 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 give it to them. And okay. when he comes on board, all of us are still like where we are. So the all point right. I'm making is this, is that back to the subject matter in reference, mm -hmm. that he visited Ni the Eastern Nigeria, for me, is historical. Fine. Okay. But I'm only giving it to him to say, please, and let me repeat this story again. Please, whatever they told you was their challenges. Because just like I told you, they, 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 they mentioned the back canon. They mentioned the back canon to him. They told the back canon. They told him that their children are in detention mm. all over the place. And he should please release them. The, the Undibo leader, what's his name now? The professor. Mm. He made that statement. He addressed him on that matter. I heard him. All right. So for me, what his visit is historical, but let you reflect actions. That whatever he got from those discussions they gave to him, he should go back, look at them, and give them a face. All right. Our son is currently the current chief of army staff. Army staff. Irabo. And that is true. Irabo is from Delta. Am I correct, Chris? Mm. I don't know whether I'm correct. Yeah. All right. Aha. So for me, let us not run into those waters. All I want us to do, as a president, you have gone to the Eastern Nigeria physically to see them. They have told you what the challenges are. Please let the challenges inform your decision to reflect positively in their lives. Thank you. Thank you. To reflect positively in their lives. Now, with this visit, is it going to uh, reduce agitations in that region? Is it going to reduce the mentality of this, uh, uh, how would I put it now, federation do not like us? Because that's what that particular said. They are thinking about that. They don't like them. But with this visit, is it going to change that mentality? I don't think so, because if the people who were to receive the went indoors. If the yeah. streets were empty, what, what do you expect? But it would take time to, to touch their, their psyche. But I'm not sure yeah, immediately. Just, I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. I'm sorry. I'll give it to him. Yes. If uh, the streets went empty, the people went into their room, hid themselves for fear of the other, what do you expect? Mm. I don't think the impact will be felt. Mm. I, that is why I said, the man should go back, even reflect on why should my visit that would have uh, end a, a mammoth crowd that would have seen the street feed up go empty. These people must have been seriously offended. Let us see how we can bring them back, mm -hmm. how we can integrate them into the federal system, create infrastructures, create jobs, let there be security. The people are always afraid because you have more of military presence there than you have in the other parts outside the uh, war zone where uh, you have the Boko Haram uh, insurgency. Mm -hmm. So let him go back and do more for the people. I think that will assuage their feelings mm -hmm. because when they now see a new Buhari, the changed Buhari, I think they will have that assurance. Then the agitation will fizzle out. Mm -hmm. They will not think of uh, going their way. Let him appoint more of their people into governors and let him do more. The, the federal presence, especially, let him create institutions. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything bad why the Minister for Petroleum or uh, the uh, uh, GMD of uh, NNPC should not come from Imo State. Because it's an oil producing the uh, state. A state that does not produce oil will be the uh, group managing director. You who goes to, uh, to fish, you know the uh, uh, river terrains more than someone who comes to buy the fish from you. Wow. That's my take. <sighs>
Interesting. Interesting. The people didn't really come out as such. Some say it's out of fear, others say out of disdain. But the message was loud and clear. What do you think the presidency should do before calling to wrap on this show to prevent such from reoccurring? Because I remember those days, if the president coming to tell, there should be a go. People coming out to shout, to jeer, to like, you know, hail the president, showing that ecstasy that the number one man is in their state or their community. But that is not the case, or that wasn't the case when the president paid a visit to Imo State. Yeah, like I said, uh, Wilson, yeah. the, the theory that you try to present now mm. is uh, either that was it or that wasn't it. Now, the first is that there were two things that happened here. Mm. One is that the people were asked not to go out by IPOP. This, of course, you know. Yeah. And when they said so, some people may not have gone out because they are afraid that street bullet may meet them. Mm. They are afraid that there will be war since Buhari is coming, so they may want to fight him mm. will stop. So some of them will not come out. Why some have sympathy with IPO and said, yes, IPO is our own. Let us support them. So these ones are just uh, issues of contemplations. I will not know which of, which of them it was the situation here. But what was true was that the streets were empty. Like I said earlier today, whatever Bowari was told when he arrived there by the leaders of those community, mm. he should take it seriously and see how he can treat those items and domesticate them mm. and give them to it. But for the points I want to make too is that there are rules, of course, going on in the East done by the federal government. Yeah. I also know too that the East-West road that was abandoned by our brother, we do regard to him all. With regard to him, I have gone to, I have traveled from here down to that area, and I didn't, I didn't see that road. We were always hanging on the road in holdups, on bad roads, and all of that. And that is the area where the oil is being produced. Okay? That's why I told you just now, I said, let us not go into the issue of, oh, uh, it's, it's regional, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, this one. Because all of them, we have heard from the south, we have heard from the north. All right. So, all we require is that Buhari should sit down look at the issues that he was told, and take them heart seriously, seriously and implement what he wanted to implement to make those people have a comfortable society to say, yes, we belong. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. You're going to have your last line of discussion because our time is absolutely up. So what do you have to say to the Eastern and, of course, to the federal government on how to maintain that relationship, to foster, uh, you know, a blossoming relationship with that region? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Wilson. Yeah. Like I have earlier said, let the president take everyone in the country. Mm -hmm. So when he came on board, he said it was for no one but for everybody. So he should... Uh, uh, je, uh, I mean, overlook certain things done by the Easterners that were distasteful uh, 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 to him while he was a military head of uh, a, a state or while he was in the military. Mm -hmm. I think to a larger extent, he still sees the Easterner th with the eyes of the war when he was in the army. And uh, there was a well, many may not agree to that comment of yours. As oh, looking no. at them with the eyes of the war, no. many may not agree with that. That, that is yeah. my own opinion. Uh -huh. Even if it's your opinion, it many, many may not agree with that. Uh, people uh, people uh, don't agree with this day no. that no. these were the people who wanted to succeed when I was in the army, and mm. now again they are still agitating in my uh, role as a civilian uh, president. Mm. So he, he would have had his own. Uh, correlation about them and uh, right. his op opinion and uh, I think he should have a, a sense of forbearance mm. and take them as people he's been uh, he's leading. Right. Thank, Thank you. Let me say this. Uh, yes, if, if that is what we suggest, yeah. what about the Yoruba who say they want to also succeed? Okay. Is that the same way he's looking at them? Thank you. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, issues. gentlemen. Thank, Thank our time you. is up. Our time is Thank up. You. Well, you, you, you've heard that discussion. I'm sure the opinions and of course their views are which is entirely dear, it has nothing to do with ITV. Yeah, but it is the best possible to follow the regulations governing the airwaves. Nigeria is our country. What is your main one depends on you 
and I to do the right thing at the right time with the right intention. Shortly, we'll be linking up live to uh, uh, yeah, the, the, the Thanksgiving service to commemorate the 87th birthday of the H. Samuel Benin. When signal comes to us in the studio, you're going to see how it all pans out. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on today's show. I appreciate a wonderful analysis. From all of us in the studio, we're saying have a wonderful Sunday and, of course, a big happy birthday to the H. Samuel of Benin. Bye for now.